Hello again, and uh, welcome back to Printing for People. Uh, been a while since I uploaded, but built another V0. This one is called the Doom V0, but this one has dual panels. Look at that. It's fantastic, and, the pr and I have added more mods to it. You can see it's printing a stealth burner right now. But there you go. And pretty much. Yeah, that's that's the doom enclosure. Anyways, the other mods have come to this machine right now. Currently it's uh, unconnected is RGB strips on both of these sides. Um and also the CPAP system. It's a little blower fan in there. I think it has only has nine CFM. Um, I say only, but it's way more than enough. A uh, little CPAP tube going through. You can see there's a Sherpa Mini in there. Uh, I've also switched out the hot end fan to a um, 24 volt, 13,000 RPM one. Uh, I've put, let me just open the enclosure. I've put slide swipe on it, which is right there, and I still need to install it on the tool hood with unclicky, which is should be somewhere around here. Yeah, which is um this little thing. Haven't installed it yet, and uh, also CNC parts, which actually just came with the kit. Interestingly, um, they're not bad, but. Not worth it in my opinion. Uh, also a Fly Gemini in the back of this thing. I need to do cable management, but it's there. Uh, if you don't know what the Fly Gemini is, it's pretty much a Raspberry Pi and a, a MCU on one board, which saved me a ton of money on that, which is good because I burned another one. And here's the little box it comes in. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, this is the actual Fly Gemini. Uh, this is the burnt one. If you um, keen-eyed viewers uh, will see that I've burnt one of the chips here, which means that thing is dead, and that thing is very dead. Uh, how did I burn it? Well, I bridged the 5-volt fan connection with a 24-volt fan connection, and it blew the board. So, Also, uh, blew all my TMCs, my Wi-Fi chip, and uh, yeah. That was unfortunate. However, got the new board in, works pretty well. I do recommend this as well. Uh, if you're using mainsail, it's gonna be a bit of a pain putting mainsail on this thing, but there's guides on the internet. I use fluid, so I don't have much trouble there. Uh, I'm gonna need to get one of those uh, deep fried hair and plates. <laughs> My plate is pretty ripped up right now. But after some tuning, the Doom V0 actually has really great print quality, and plus this purple is fantastic. It also has high wind rails. I don't know if they're actual genuine, but mm, they work. Uh, here's another V0. It's a bit broken right now. Mainly, uh, it needs another Z motor cable and a uh, few screws here and there, uh, and actually a linear rail. Which I can actually put back now. I just need to print a mount for it. This one still works. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it for parts. Or am I going to just leave it like this. But it still works pretty well. Uh, this one. The cool thing about it. Is that I've, I just pulled out a 15-14 minute benchy out of it. And um, that was pretty fast. Probably go faster. But man, no point in doing that in my opinion. Uh, great little purple color. Also has a foldable spool holder for all your folding needs. Uh, the back plate is vented. No references there, but yeah, it's a, honestly a really cool machine. I advise you guys to check it out. I'll put all the links to the mods in the description. Be aware, this is a $70 blower fan. I got it for 35 because I have a geographic advantage, being in China. 
Uh, other than that, it is very worth it. Uh, it moon's motor in the back. Uh, another thing about the motors, uh, I have lead shines for the AB motors. The problem with those is that I need to run them at about 1.6 amps. And if you ever use LDO or OMC motors, you know that's a pretty high um, amperage. I'm going to switch them to OMC once I get the opportunity to, but right now they're fine. So, just a heads up on that. Uh, the door pieces have broken a few times. You see this one's already breaking a little bit. Don't print it out of ABS Plus. ABS Plus is fragile as hell. If you're going to print these, print them in some nice high quality ABS. I'll reprint them once I get back to the US because that's where all my beige ABS is. It's also way more beige than this. Uh, as you can see on the, this one's actually Hatchbox beige. Honestly, better than that Eason skin color, which is honestly beige. Um, a few other updates, pretty, pretty much nothing more. I have a V2 coming. It's gonna be a 200 millimeter spec. Well, actually not spec, it's custom V2. So it should be pretty fun. All right, see ya. By the way, this is the 14 minute Benchy. It is honestly fantastic. As you can see, it's, there's a bit of um, blemishes here and there, but not a lot of cooling problems. No, no speed reduction on the chimney stack. So honestly, CPAP is very worth it. Go get one. Also, please get a hex driver. Even the one that came with my cheap, cheap kit and I mean, this is a 10, eh, probably even 10 cent. <laughs> probably not that close, but you get my point. It's a very cheap hex driver. Get one. Very useful. Here's a few other prints. This is, was uh, Untuned Black ABS Plus um, F1 Micro model. Uh, you see there's a few inconsistencies. A uh, bit of a problem. This was a 17 minute one. It skipped like hell. Tune this a little bit more, and it works pretty well. Uh, I don't think this is the one. This, this was actually the one printed with the Orbiter V2, um, which is pretty much immaculate. Um, sadly, I couldn't use the Orbiter V2 for one of those, but this is the other one that's printed with the CPAP mod, and I think it is pretty worth it. Now, the reason I'm printing a stealth burner is mainly to uh, honestly use my printer a bit more. This is another one that kind of failed because I was skipping. Not really skipping, I don't know what it is, but slow down a little bit and uh, it seems to be fine. It seems to be a belt tension or motor problem, but figure that out later. And that, peace.